All right. So I know a lot of you are wondering what the uh, cracked iPod looks like after I announced that I had cracked version 1.1. Well, not me cracked, but able to crack my iPod in version 1.1.1, 1.1.2, and 1.1.3. So uh, it's a lot like just having a regular iPod, but absolutely awesome and amazing. So um, I'll just show you what it can do here if you're interested in taking the deep plunge and going to crack your iPod. So uh, just turn it on like any other normal iPod here. Comes up to the Apple logo. Of course, it's a little bright on this camera, so you're just gonna have to bear with me here. It takes a little, little bit longer than what they normally do to turn on, but believe me, it is well worth it. You will not be disappointed at all. Just takes a minute here. So make it very slow. There we go. And comes up like a regular iPod, as you can see. So uh, I'll just turn the brightness down on it here. Let's go in the settings, brightness, and I'll just pull it down a bit so you all guys can see it a bit better here in Internet Land. Whoa, way too bright there. All right. Whoops. There you go. Now we're up to the unlock screen here. So it's just like any other iPod, you can unlock it. Just slide to unlock, and just go back to my home screen, and well, first thing you notice is, wow, look at all those awesome programs is probably what you're wondering. So uh, we'll start off here, mail, like on the iPhone, just, uh, you can buy that for $19.99 on iTunes, and of course when you crack 1.1.3, uh, Apple doesn't want you to know this, but you do get all these awesome applications for free, so it's pretty cool, and then you have the weather loads up there just like weather mm, minus four oh minus two now updates automatically when you're on Wi-Fi you have your calendar you should already know this existed if you have a touch you have the YouTube feature of course and um, it, that's always an awesome fun feature to play with the YouTube you have Google Maps now so I can just pop up Google Maps here oh there we are we're zoomed into southern Ontario already so pretty fun stuff there and then you have the, an internet radio application I downloaded. It's a little bit slow as it's still in beta testing, but you can listen to hundreds and hundreds of internet radio stations that broadcast all around the world, which is pretty cool. And then you have the Apollo Messenger I downloaded, which is a third-party app. Oh, my email address there. A uh, third-party application you downloaded. And uh, you can use your MSN, your AIM, or your Yahoo, I believe. Or, yeah, Gmail. If, I don't know if Gmail has one or not. Then you have your iTunes store link there. Pretty cool stuff, too. iTunes, if you're in the downloading legally. I downloaded the services, so I can turn my SSH on, which means I can access my iPod's hard drive, uh, which you have to be very careful when you're doing, because one little muck-up can give you one hunk of a not-working Apple Metal. Never want that one. Do the installer feature, which is a third-party application, of course. You can download and install different applications. So if I just go in the recent packages here, for example, oh, iCrossword. That's new. I haven't downloaded that. Maybe I should check out iCrossword. Looks kind of cool on the iPod here. You can go into your settings, and you have all kinds of new settings here for mail, Safari. Well, you already had Safari, but mail and uh, mail. <laughs> so you can check those out if you're into tweaking your iPod. And then you have Summer, summer, yes, yeah, summer, whatever you call it. I forget what it's called. Summer blinds, uh -huh. but I'll, you know what? I'll go into installer and tell you. I brain fade cannot figure it out on the top of my head. Source, no, update, uninstall. Here we go. Summer board. That's what it is. Because I'm used to using Windows blinds on my Windows operating system. <coughs> Sorry. And then you just go to uh, your summer board settings, and that's where you can pick themes and backgrounds. Now. A lot of you are wondering, how the heck did I get Summerboard to, Summer to work on 1.1.3? Well, it's pretty simple. I just went into my iPods registry and set it up to make it think I was running 1.1.2. And thus, I downloaded the Summerboard version for 1.1.2, went back into the registry, made it 1.1.3, which is what it is, and then just went on from there. Now, the only one thing that doesn't work with this version of Summerboard is the background, and you can probably tell that right off away, is there is no background on the iPod right now. Now, um, you have Safari, music, videos, and photos, there should be set, and the new 1.1.3 background, that way you can validate it, and I can tell you it's 1.1.3, and if you really need to know that it's 1.1.3, you're just like that, I can just go into general here, about, oh, general, about, and you can see there it is 1.1.3 1 
right there. All right, that's good stuff. Okay. Now, in the new iPod software, you can turn it over to different pages, and you can move your icons around. Of course, I have all kinds of games I download on here, the stocks program, the notes feature. Notes, I don't know what much to say about notes. It's not the most brilliant thing, but hey, it's okay. Calculator, clock, lady, labyrinth, good game, four balls is a good game, iPhysics is fun, and so is five dice. It's like pay playing Yahtzee. And then, in the new iPod version, if you uh, downloaded it off iTunes already, flushed away your $20, you know you can make web links on your third page if you choose to. And of course, you can move these around. I have Bus Monitor, CNN, uh, C Radio, of course, Edge Radio, Apple, CBC, and Google on there. So uh, if you didn't know how to, you can move things around on here. And uh, that's also a cool thing. Very simple, just hold down on it, everything starts to shake. Say I want to move maps over, woo, maps is there now. Move it back because I have it in perfect order. Just turn the iPod to sleep, unlock it, unlock it, like I said, and voila, there you go. Now, when you crack your software, people think it's not going to work in iTunes. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. All right, so I'm just going to plug it into iTunes here. Just going to set the camera down for a second. There we go. Plug it in. Comes up. You hear my computer click on. My computer's a little slow, so you're going to have to bear with it. It's still going here. Of course, I already have iTunes open on here. And there you go. iTunes opens up. And tell you what, I'm going to shut off the light. That way you can see everything better. There we go. iTunes opens up good and great with my iPod Touch listed and everything that's on it. No problems there. You can drag and drop music and videos. For example, oh, maybe I want some Aerosmith here. I'll just drag Sweet Emotion onto my iPod here. There we go. Syncs it up. And there we go, already updated. And even with the crack, it says I have updated, and it will check for another update. And with the crack, it will not update automatically on you. So that's one thing you don't need to worry about. My iPod here, just resting. Turn her back on, how about it? Let's go back into settings here. Whoops. Settings, and brightness. Turn it back up so you can see. Whoa, a little bright there. Turn it back down a little bit. There we go. Now you can see my iPod again. Slide to unlocker. There you go. So that is a quick tour of the cracked 1.1.3 version on the iPod. And of course, any new applications that come out, just click on your installer here. Load it up. Loads here. Just hit install. You have all kinds of great things you can download. It's a very cool feature. Works seamlessly, amazing, and iTunes. And all around great if you're into cracking and unvalid. I don't know if it validates the warranty or not. I'm not too sure on that. I've just, you know, started to get into this. So I'm going to look it up and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully, um, things will work out better and Summerboard will release a new update and everybody will be happy. So um, this is me signing off and uh, thanks for checking out the cracked version of a 1.1.3 on your iPod. And, um... Hopefully we get an iPhone in Canada sometime in the future.